Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is kind of show you how to um, shade an inequality. And basically when we're looking into shading for an inequality, uh, the most, most important thing that we're going to be looking into is determining not only are the points on the line um, going to be a part of a solution, but are the points above or below the line going to be a part of our solution because that's what really separates a linear inequality from a linear equation. It's not just the line, but it's points above and below that can also make your inequality true. So when looking at this, the first thing we look at is the boundary line, which I go over in a separate video. But basically, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that whenever my equation is greater than or less than, um, you can see that I am going to have a dashed line. That means any of the points that lie on this line are not going to be a part of the solution. Over here, I have greater than, less than or equal to, or if I had an equation greater than or equal to, you can see I have a solid line. Because if I was going to plot in any, if I was going to plug in the point for any point that lies on this line, um, it would always make the inequality true. All right, that, where this one would always make it uh, false, which I'll kind of actually prove. Eh, let, I'll prove to you. Now, the, let's do this one first. So, when looking into determining the shading of an inequality, we need to determine a test point, and the best test point to ever ever pick is 0, 0, as long as your graph does not go through that point, 0, 0. Now, the reason why 0, 0 is so helpful is, well, first of all, um, because the operations are going to be very simple uh, compared, because anytime you're adding, um, adding to 0 or multiplying by 0, it's a pretty easy operation. Now, remember, the point 0, 0 has an x and a y coordinate. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug 0 in for x and 0 in for y in our inequality. And we're going to see, does this make the inequality true or not? So I plug in 0 is greater than negative 3 halves times 0 plus 3. 0 is greater than negative 3 halves times 0, obviously is 0, plus 3 is just going to be 3. 0 greater than 3. That is false. So what that means is if one point below the uh, line is false, that means all points below the line are false. And that means all points above are true. That means that's true, that's true, that's true. So rather than plotting all those points, we just kind of do some nice little shading here. Now, to kind of show you also why the points on the line are false, why we're doing a dash, let's pick another point, 0, 3 real quick, and show you why that doesn't work because it is false. So I have 3 is greater than negative 3 halves times 0 plus 3. Again, that's 0. 3 is greater than 3. Well, 3 is never greater than 3, right? 3 is equal to 3. So that's why that is false and it's dashed line. But I think it's much easier just to look at the inequality symbol. Less than or greater than, it's always going to be false. Now we have a dilemma over here because here I always say 0, 0, but now 0, 0 lies on the line. So if we use 0, 0, it's like me testing this point again. We already know what the line is. This one's not a part of the solution. The points here are all a part of the solution. So there's no point in testing 0, 0. What I'm going to want to test here is a point above or below. So let's go ahead and choose this point, 0, comma, negative 1. All right, so when testing 0, comma, negative 1, um, again, I'm going to use the same process that I did over here. I'll put a 0 in for x and negative 1 in for y. Oh, I wanted to choose the one above. Dang it. Negative 1 is less than or equal. That is true. So since, actually, no, I want to do that. So since that is true, that means all the points are below it are also going to be true. So that is going to be where I'd shade. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine the shading for a linear inequality. Thanks.